here are a few grains uh, from our bodega sample. And you can tell that they have a variety of compositions by the differences in color. And they have different amounts of rounding. And so we have the grain size chart at the top, which has the rounding. And we'll start by looking at some well-rounded grains. So for example, this one right here really doesn't have any sharp edges on it at all. Um, here's uh, another example of one that's a little bit smaller, but still well-rounded, maybe on the rounded side. Angular grains have a lot of uh, sharp edges. And you can see, for example, there are a couple of them here. There's another one here. Uh, if that's a grain, it's very angular with those, those sharp points. And we can look at some that are, for example, sub-rounded. So the points sticking out are smooth, but they're not, uh, they still have some of those edges coming out. So what would be a good example of one of those grains? Let's say uh, this one right here is a good example. Uh, here's a big example of a, of a sub-rounded grain. Right. So the way you go from angular to well-rounded is uh, by the grains colliding against each other and breaking off all of these little sharp points on the edges of them. And so typically angular grains are ones that have uh, recently been produced by weathering of the rock and well-rounded grains uh, have experienced quite a bit of rounding. I'd like to point out some grains, too, that are don't really fit in this pattern. And that's the ones I just circled here in blue. There are two grains, and look, they have, they have the same shape. And they're actually connected to each other. And these grains are actually uh, fragments of uh, coralline algae. So these are basically uh, algal skeletons fragments um, and these are often pink if they still have some of the uh, organic matter uh, in them and the pigments from when they're alive and these are again coral and algae and they are they grow rounded so in this particular case the grains don't actually tell you much about the transport process if they'd been transported a whole lot though these these two grains would have uh, broken apart and they would be separate. All right, thanks for watching.